Um, I know this isn't the easiest thing in the world, folks, um, but I also know this. When it comes to the political part of this battle, when it comes to winning the hearts and minds of the public, we have done that in a way I've not seen in 30 years in the education system. So I've been doing this for a little while. We were just talking about having, having buttons from strikes. Mine go back to 1997 when I was involved in the political protest against the last wing right last right wing lunatic government that we had to deal with. Um, and here we are again, but in that time I have never seen the support from the public like we have in this particular battle. It's not just a gut feeling on my part, we're polling every week, every week since we started taking action and overwhelmingly parents and the general public support the positions that we have on the bargaining table and they oppose what Doug Ford is trying to do to education in Ontario. So we know they don't want bigger classes. Parents don't want their children to lose access to the supports that education workers bring to the education system. They're not interested in this stupid Alabama-style e-learning program that the minister wants to bring in. They don't want class size caps eliminated. So we're on the right track. We're fighting for the right things. We're going to keep on fighting. I've said this before. What I can't, I cannot guarantee how this works out. I just can't. Governments have a lot of power, they can do a lot of damage, and they've already done a lot of damage to students and to educators in this province. I can guarantee we won't stop fighting, and I can guarantee, even if I don't know how it ends, I know how it doesn't end, and it doesn't end with OSSTF putting its signature on a lousy deal that undermines Ontario's publicly funded... <laughs>